Hi everyone, Karen here. I will just wait for Instagram to kind of notify everyone that we are live. And while I wait, I will pop the title on. Here we go. Here we go. Perfect. Hopefully people will start joining now. Hello everyone. Hi. I'm just popping the title on really quick. There we go. Pin. Hi everyone, how is everyone today? I can't believe it's Monday. It feels like it's been the longest Monday ever waiting for this live. Um, it's another night in with Essential. Today's one that I'm very, very excited about. So we are going live with Bare Minerals and we're gonna be talking all about bold lipsticks, how to wear them with confidence, how to apply them, how to choose a color that suits you because I'll be honest, sometimes it is easier, safer to stay in the neutral zone, but today we're gonna to be trying to like branch out a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is invite Hayley, who is the um, Regional Education Manager for Bay Minerals, and I can see she's actually just joined. So let me invite her in, and then we can get started. This is very exciting. How is everyone anyway? How is everyone's Monday? Oh, thank you, everyone. Oh, my top is from Zara. I feel like someone always asks me. Hello, Hayley. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? You look oh, gorgeous. So thank you. You look amazing. You oh, look so, like, sun kissed glowing. Yeah, I caught a little sun at the weekend, which was so nice. I know. Oh, my God, amazing. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you for having me. Oh, well, maybe for anyone who perhaps, like, doesn't know, maybe you could just explain a little bit about your role at Bare Minerals. Yeah, of course. Um, so I work in the training department at Bare Minerals, so I train the makeup artists that work in store, um, but it's also in the artistry role, so I run our pro team of artists, so we kind of do London Fashion Week. Wow. Lots of shoots. And I'm online makeup artist on air, sorry, makeup artist for QVC for the brand. So, yeah. Wow. So you're very used to like talking on screen and everything then. Exactly. But I still stumble over my words, which Oh, we happens. all do. We all do. Amazing. Well, before you joined, I had the opportunity to tell everyone that we're going to be talking about lipsticks, my favourite topic ever. Um, in particular, bold I saw you lipsticks. live actually earlier about oh, it. Well. I'm, I'm obsessed. Like, I did a poll and I said, do people usually wear neutrals or bold I'm one of those people if I haven't done my hair and makeup if everything's going wrong I'll chuck on a bold lipstick because I feel like it disguises everything yeah but so many people choose to wear neutrals don't they they do indeed so I think it's quite nice to kind of talk about color um how do we pick the right color I know you mentioned that earlier so a lot of people kind of want to wear color but they're like where do I start yeah um but also inspiring that confidence like how to wear it well yeah. And I know that we talked about that, that a little bit too. And I picked some colours. I know that we suggested some colours for you on our call last week. But yeah. I know that you're going to be trying to. Um, yes. And I've got some colours and I've picked a few others so people can see a variety too. Amazing. Yeah. Okay. Maybe the first thing we should do, because I know so many people have been asking me about it and they're very excited, is introduce the new lipsticks because I think they're so amazing. People will want to know about them. Definitely. So they're called Mineralist and I will show you the actual packaging, which is gorgeous. It's like a champagne kind of packaging um, cool. and it feels really nice. I'm one of those weirdos that likes the feel and the click. Yeah, and the, the click. It's got a really good click. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so what I love about kind of these lipsticks, they're really ultra smoothing. So if you think about kind of the lips, how a lot of us get quite dry, flaky lips, dehydrated yes. lips, I'm exactly the same. They're all about really hydrating the lip. Um, what I love, the colours as well, they're vegan friendly. Um, so they are kind of that colour that a lot of vegans, they sometimes miss when they're looking for a, a lipstick that they can wear. Yeah. Um, but they're inspired by gemstones and crystals. So wow. all of the colours, yeah, are inspired by those. And all of the names you'll hear, they're like charisma and abundance. And yeah, and energy. Like. Yeah, confidence. So they're actually really gorgeous, quite girly lipsticks that are really fun to wear. Um, but I think kind of the ultra smoothing, the hydra smoothing is really, really important. And I think a lot of people think about lipsticks, but actually these are more than just a lipstick it's like a yeah. conditioning kind of treatment for the lips at the same time so it does a lot definitely because I think for me the first thing that's important to me when I think I'm going to wear a bold lip with confidence the formula has to be right 
you yeah. have the wrong formula and you're gonna end up with that horrible just like lip line because your lips are so like undernourished and I'm one of those people I've been there I've got yeah. um, like eczema prone lips so lip if a lip color isn't oh, nourishing for me, yeah. then oh my god I'll it'll take hours and a couple of yeah. hours and my lips will look awful so I tried these over the weekend and honestly like I'm not just saying it they're so nourishing that it didn't feel like I was wearing lipstick and that's something for me that I, I can't feel like I'm having yeah. something. And they're so creamy on the lips. Like yeah. when I'm someone, I have this terrible habit of always rubbing my lips together in a lipstick. Yeah. Um, but you don't get that kind of, kind of flakiness, any of that dryness that sometimes you get when you do that. They feel, as you said, really nourished. Yeah. Um, and actually quite comforting on the lips. I think that's a really nice word to use, comforting. Yeah, and I think one thing I was, uh, you know, pleasantly surprised to hear as well, it's like only 19 ingredients or something, which yeah. when you compare it to other ingredients, when you see the lists, it's mad. You wouldn't think there would be many, but there's so many. So I think that's a really important thing for people as well. Yeah, and I think we're talking about less does more as a brand, and that's one of our key messages, you know, less ingredients, but more proven results. And we yeah. do have the clinicals with these, so it does kind of sum up exactly what people want from a lip product now. And we have that with lots of makeup, as you know. People yes. are not just looking for makeup anymore, they want that bit extra, something that actually does something good for them. And we're offering that in this new range. Amazing. Well, I think, of course, formula is really important. And the best way we're going to see that is maybe by getting some on and putting yes. some on. Absolutely. I know you wanted a few tips and tricks as well. So yeah. I'm just kind of going to talk about kind of how I would prep the lip. And Perfect. a really nice way that I talk about prepping the lip, and this will probably help quite a few of you. Um, if I'm on a shoot or, you know, if we are working on kind of fashion shows and things like that, I think it's really important. So a lot of people would use quite a lot of balm on the lips and they think that that's the best way to prep the lip. Guilty. Um, and, and actually a little bit of balm can help, but... Sometimes when you're then going on with a liner, maybe you're going for a matte lipstick instead and you want the lip to kind of be nourished, but you don't necessarily want that greasiness that sometimes can make a liner slip as well. Yeah. Um, I suggest to go for an eye cream. One of the best things. Oh my um, gosh. Yeah. Which when is... you guys said what products we were going to be like talking about and what would be really good and you said eye cream, I was like, what we doing with the eye cream so this yeah. is so interesting it's all wow. new to you um so i'm just going to take a little bit of the eye cream as you can see and um, one thing that i always say for people that anything that is good for the eyes is always good for the lips because wow. the peptides yeah. in products that plump the fine lines around the eyes they also are the same peptides that plump the fine lines around the lips yeah, so ladies at home when you're using your skincare over night time you've got any added eye cream just take it over the lip as well I love that's things really that good are good asking as well. Like yeah. that's one thing you one thing less you've got to carry around, you know, if you're leaving the house and going somewhere overnight. Yeah, and you get so much eye cream and you know, they said to use it within six months and yeah. why not use a little bit extra on your lip as well? So we're Definitely. using a tiny bit and we're just gonna prep that onto the lip just to start. Because you're right, I am someone that's terrible. If I'm because I've got such dry lips and I get so worried, I literally pack on lip balm because I'm like, oh, I'm gonna make it last if I just put it yeah. on. And then sometimes your product slides. I'm yeah. not saying that's not a good look. Like say if I wear quite a, a, a high shine gloss, I'll probably do that. But when yeah. it comes to lipstick and I'm using liners, I definitely suggest to use an eye cream firstly, just so you get that hydration, that nice smoothness, but it sinks in quite easily. So you can go straight in with your product. Yeah. Um, so we've so just cut the lip with a tiny bit of that. My next tip would be to take a concealer now. I think someone just, said, um, someone just said, Hayley, how yeah. does it feel on the lip? And it feels like nothing, like it feels nothing, but it feels nourished. Yeah, As if, it's very you know, sometimes nice. when you, yeah, so I, to me it feels like, you know, sometimes when you put your moisturizer on, it goes a little bit over your lips. Yeah. That's the only way it's I can. It's a tiny bit like that. that. Your skin is glowing, by the way. Can you oh, see thank you. It? Yeah, you look gorgeous. <laughs> I'm just going to use a tiny bit of concealer. Now, it doesn't matter what concealer we're using. Um, I picked the Bare Pro because it's my personal favorite. I suggested that for you. Yeah. But honestly, it doesn't matter what concealer you use. Tiny bit. You don't need a lot. And I just tend to press this over the lip. 
Um, and we don't necessarily want to get that concealer look like the 90s. I used yeah. to wear concealer all over my lips. I had terrible yeah. lipstick in the 90s. <laughs> um, but we just literally want to take away some of that natural lip colour. And I always tend to find, especially anyone who finds it hard to see where their lip line is, um, a lot of people's lip line is probably the same colour, similar to their skin. Um, or people have a double lip line, so they have the coloured one and then the actual fullness. Yeah. But this knocks out any of that colour, so it really starts to give you that nice kind of even finish to start. So that will just affect the lip. Because I'm someone who, like, if I'm putting on, like, bold colours on my eyes, I'll always prep my lid and kind of neutralise it. But I really do it for my lips, and yeah. I don't know why. Yeah, it's exactly the same thing. It would just kind of knock out any of that colour and it gives you a really kind of even tone so that your lips just kind of look nice and even so you know exactly where to put your yeah. pencil in your placement. Um, now, what colour should we go for first? Oh, so I, oh, I don't know because we've got a couple of options, haven't we? Yeah. Let's go, definitely go bold. Yeah. Um, should, we go for should we go for courage? If you go for courage, shall I show one of maybe the red? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, so I'm actually going to talk you through an application because I'm going to share two tips with a bold lip. So um, I was talking to our kind of marketing team and we said this is a really good way to share. So I know earlier on in your live you were talking about kind of sometimes you don't get that durability from a lipstick. Yeah. And you tend to find that it wears in the centre and then you've got the outside. Yeah. Um, or you used to have that. Oh, the tip yeah. that I always have, if you've got a brighter liner, take the liner. I'm going to use a nude, and I'll talk to you why in a moment. But for yours, if you take that liner, take yeah. it onto the lip, but almost, once you've done your actual lip line, start working with it over the lip, so you start to kind of create that colour all over with liner. And that would give you a really good prep. Um, really good for people who are on a night out, maybe bride, you want that durability, it's just going to give you that. So I'm going to work kind of with a nude in a moment, but I'm going to talk you through this. So carry on for your natural lip line. So I'm using 100%, 100%, 100 yeah. in the statement liner. One of my favourite liners. It's a really good red actually, because if you like more of an orangey red, or if you like more of a blue red, it works. It's really versatile. So I'm someone I like a few different kind of reds in my makeup bag and I find this is a good liner it glides on easily as you can probably tell it really yeah, does it's, really, it's quite creamy but not so much yeah. as slippery um it's got one of the same ingredients that's in the mineralist which is olive oil and that's what gives you that nice kind of glide and that Great. slide onto the lip yeah so when I'm applying I always wonder this do you recommend smiling and following the line or you know what I always say for your inner corners always smile to get a nice talk kind of in a inner corner so you can really get that precision I think there's nothing worse than a bold lip and we're not filling in those gorgeous inner corners that yeah. you then when you smile you almost get kind of a half done kind of look um, and when you're kind of working with your cupid's bow top and bottom, I always say have a mirror in front of you, which you've got. But yeah. a great way that I always talk to is look down. So oh, you can down. Down. see the top, of, the top of the lip once you're doing your liner and then tilt backwards so you can start to see underneath. Okay. And that's why a lot of us wear liner because our lips aren't necessarily symmetrical. So by just tilting the head down in the mirror, and backwards, you'll start to see if you're getting that really good balance and precision. And any of you that are watching that do other people's makeup, maybe you're not a makeup artist and you do your friends, your mum, you know, if you do want any extra tips, always tilt your model's head downwards towards yeah. the chest and then backwards and you'll see if you get that really good balance on the lips. It looks okay. looking done, great. I've done the outline. Yeah. So now fill it. And now take that lip liner almost flat onto the lip and start to almost kind of use feathery strokes and buff it in. And if you don't kind of get it perfect, it doesn't matter. Um, you've got a lip brush there as well, so if you wanted to use that, um, you can use that too. Okay. Looks good without any lipstick. Yeah, well, well, isn't you've it? Done already on you, Karen. Yeah. Gorgeous. You look like a senorita instantly. I, that's the why hair, I just love a red lipstick. Because everything else is quite plain, but... yeah. It's to, it straight away picks you up. Now, as you're doing that, I'm just going to talk to everyone about why I've also chosen to show a nude lip. 
and this was a great tip actually that I picked up from um, one of our um, global makeup artists. And she said to us, the idea of the lip liner, yes, it can help your makeup last and your lipstick stay on, but actually a nude is a great way to wear a bold because it will show you where to take your lip color to. When you use the same color as you're doing, you don't need to go all the way to the edges. But if you're someone that maybe you have a few different colors, but you don't want to buy loads and loads of lip liners, she said a nude is a really good one to be able to line the lips, um, yeah. but also then you follow all the way to the edge of the lip line. So it's a really good tip for anyone who wants to do that too. So I'm going to use that one as you're doing this. Now that now I can do this, you can talk. We yeah. talked about that, didn't we? It's difficult yeah. to do your lips and talk. It's a hard thing to talk and apply lipstick, isn't it? Um, so now I'm going to go in with the lipstick on top. And yeah. to be honest, this is the one that I've been wearing. So this is Courage. I, how would I describe this shade? Maybe I'll describe it as I'm applying it. But I, it matches this. Yeah, I would say it's almost like a, a true cherry, actually. Yeah. Like a little cherry red. Um, and I think and I, it's a good all-rounder for a lot of different skin tones, I would say. Definitely. So if you're a neutral skin, um, golden skin, cool skin, it's a great colour for everybody. So it is that real true kind of pillar box red. Um, that real Hollywood red, it's that yeah. glam red, um, and that does really suit so many different skin tones. You're right, it looks fabulous on you, I love it. Do you know one thing I want to say as well? It smells incredible. Yeah, it's got a natural scent in it of prickly pear and acai. I used oh, to call them a cry until I heard it was acai. And we're using that in some of our skincare as well at the moment, so that's the natural scent that you get. It's gorgeous, wow. isn't it? Yeah. And the thing is, I think I've got a lot of lipsticks in my collection that smell awful. There's a lot of lipsticks that, you know, they look great, the formulas are great, but it just not, they don't smell. It's yeah. directly underneath your nose, so you want something that smells nice. Yeah, exactly. And it's kind of that, that very fresh, soft smell. It's not overpowering at all. It's very subtle. Um, the main cut suits you well. Will this red work for pale skin with yellow undertones? I personally think it would work for all skin tones. All skin um, tones. So whether you're neutral, which is kind of that peachy colour, whether you're golden, which is what you referred to as yellow, um, or cool, which is more pinky, it's a colour that suits everybody. So yeah. if you love that, it's a really good one. Definitely. Because um, I'll be honest, when I saw the bottom, I thought it was going to be very orange toned. But when I opened it, I thought, oh no, it's actually quite, um, it's like almost like a snow white red. Yeah. Like, that's the kind of thing that comes to my mind and as well. I Throw everyone on my hand so that they can see. There we go. Yeah, a bit closer so that they can see the true colour. So, I'm like a neutral to golden skin works on me. You're a lot more golden than me works on you. But even a cooler skin because it has got that kind of nice kind of neutral colour works on everybody. Um, so I think what shall I go for? Shall I go for um, this one, which I actually found as we were doing it, which is one of our other reds. It's a bit of a kind of more raspberry, a deeper one. Oh, yeah, beautiful. I do almost like berry. I thought it would be nice for them to see different ones. Your lips look fabulous, by the way. I, I really, and it was, that was really easy, like, to apply. I, for me, one of the main tricks of getting a really crisp line is, like you said, to use a liner. Um, but I do wonder, Hayley, if you've got tips for, well, actually, maybe we'll do it after, for, like, touching up any mistake yeah, because that was easy but I'm sure you know sometimes everyone does it doesn't it like you kind of miss a step and you're like oh god how do I take this back yeah um or you've had a few too many drinks before <laughs> you're getting ready with your girlfriends and then you end up going over the edge as well so yeah. yeah of course I've got a few tips that we can do there um I can just see actually Charles hi Charles and um, she just said about lipstick going in your teeth and um, I've got an overbite, as, as you might be able to tell. So I often find that lipstick does go on my teeth, mm -hmm. but I can't see any. And I've been talking, like, non-stop, haven't I? Yeah. Um, so, and I, I sometimes I normally get a little bit of lipstick here and there on my teeth as well. But, yeah, I tend to find I wore this over the weekend, and I also really loved the formula, really loved the consistency. But, again, I didn't have lipstick on my teeth, which... Yeah. It's always a good day when that doesn't happen. Um, so what we're going to do now, we're going to neaten up the edge of the lip. Um, so we talked about a bold, and I think that's a really important thing that you said, because wearing a bold lip, it's really important to get that really nice crisp edge. What I love about these lipsticks, they've got a really good fine bullet. 
Yeah. So I'm going to let it focus there. Um, so actually, you can actually get that really gorgeous kind of nice precision to the line. But if you don't, a really easy tip that I have, take a little brush. It doesn't need to be um, anything kind of too fancy, just something small. It doesn't need to look particularly like this one. And take that concealer that you had initially and work this around the lip line just to start to give you that nice kind of neat edge to the lip. Um, and if you're someone, if you think, actually I've already got a really nice neat edge, but you want to highlight, take yeah. this into the cupid's bow. It's a great way to do any like small little touch-ups. So we're just gonna take this onto the cupid's bow and then pull it tight around the rest of the lip. And it does make such a difference, doesn't it? Just kind of giving it that precision. It really does. And I think it's like a lot of people kind of talk about do lipsticks bleed. And I think by doing this and using the liner together in conjunction with each other, mm. you don't have to worry about your lipstick really moving or bleeding. It's a great way to really finish the lip. Because I always kind of mess up right in the corners of my mouth because I've got dry lips. I tend to always ha have dryness there. So I think this yeah, helps to kind of disguise that as well. Uh, well, we've had a question. What, what shades work best for older ladies? And I think actually, you, it really depends on like for me. My answer to that would be your the colours you like. You know, I don't think any age has to wear any particular colour. But well, I what totally agree. So I always say that as well. That it's not a particular age that has a certain colour that suits them, because you know if you're a hundred and you want to wear a bright pop of pink, go for it. It's all about confidence. But one thing that I tend to say, and people are asking a few questions about colors, so I think it would be really good to talk to it. Yeah. If you're someone with kind of a real pinky skin, um, go for some colors that tend to have either that kind of bluish kind of undertone. That one will be a good one. You can see it's got a slightly more bluey kind of color to it. Um, if you're someone who has more of a neutral skin tone, which is that more peachy colour, maybe you tan a little bit, yeah. um, but you still need an SPF, um, go for something that is more of a mauve undertone. That's a really good kind of shout. Um, if you're someone who's more golden skin toned, go for something with more of an orange undertone. So you tend to find that those cooler skins look good in that kind of more rosy kind of baby pink. Um, that kind of olive skin tone as you are would look good in either the orange reds or the peachy colours. Um, and anyone who's a neutral tone, stick to kind of the mauve somewhere in the middle. Um, yeah. If you're ever in doubt as well, if you wear gold jewellery, go for more of those like kind of tip. warmer undertones. Um, if you're silver jewellery or white gold, um, go for those more blue tones. And if you're someone that can wear either, it's really your choice. And um, if you're someone who wears rose gold, go for a mauve. Yeah. So that's quite a nice way to talk to it as well. Um, but honestly, I think it really does come down to confidence and yeah. wearing what you want to wear um, and trying it on. I always say if you're in a department store or you're shopping and you want a great way of finding a lipstick, always hold it up to your face and see how it looks on the hand. And that's a really, really good tip that I have. Yeah. Yeah, that's so true. And I think when it, you know, for anyone who is watching, obviously we can't, it's hard when you're shopping for lipstick because you can't get out and about at the moment and try things. But we always say to everyone, if you want to see a swatch or something, we just say tweet us, Instagram us, Facebook us, because, you know, we will try our best to guess, yeah. guess show you a swatch and really talk to you about what colour. Because I think that sometimes you just need a bit of help, don't you? Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, have a real play, I think. But, you know, don't ever be put off by people saying, oh, you can't wear that. It's not for your skin tone try it on if you put it yeah. on and you like it you know exactly. go for it and it's weird I, I've done makeup for years now since I was 16 and that's over okay. half my life so I'm giving away my age now <laughs> um, but honestly the, the best thing that I always say is when I try lipsticks on people depending on kind of what what skin tone they are what they've always worn if I pick something when people say go on you pick you decide yeah. And I put something on they don't normally wear, nine times out of ten they love it. Yeah. And they never would have chosen it. But it's that sometimes trying something different and you're like, oh, 
Oh, I love it actually. Yeah. I did that recently. I tried a hot pink and I'm always either a red or a nude. It's always me. And I tried a hot pink and it was out of my comfort zone, but I totally fell in love. So yeah. yeah. You have to do that's the thing with makeup, isn't it? It's just sometimes just having a play. I always yeah. say, to, I said to people as well before this, I thought, bold lipstick, if you don't wear bold lipstick, this light is kind of the opportunity. And while we're all at home, you can just, you know, you might not see anyone, but just chuck on a lipstick you never wear yeah. for the day and see how you feel. Really, I said that the other day. It wasn't about lipstick, but I tried a fluffier brow and I've been kind of taking on this kind of fluffier brow and I'm not going to structured. Um, but I've done it during this period because I keep looking at myself in the mirror, having video kind of talks and doing lives and masterclasses. And I had so many people say, oh my goodness, you changed your eyebrows. And uh, I was like, oh, I'm not sure, but it's <laughs> now got me ready. Yeah. We do go back to normality. Um, to be able to wear my fluffier brows in public, which oh, is nice. Yeah. yeah, no, definitely. Now is the time to experiment, I think. It is. Um, I just saw a couple of questions. Someone asked yeah. what we touched up with, and this was the Bay Pro Concealer we yeah, used to touch up. Yeah, it's a 16-hour concealer. So if you are someone that you find you want full coverage from your concealer, you want it to wear, it's a 16-hour I picked it for us because it's matte, so it's going to give us that durability around the lipstick. But yeah. honestly, you can use any concealer of your choice, but that's my personal favourite. I love that one. I think we had another question as well, Hayley, on yeah. how to touch up lipstick throughout the day. So would you recommend taking concealer with you, or what would you say? I probably wouldn't say for the concealer, no, especially with the Bare Pro, because it is a 16-hour wear, so it does really last. Um, but what I would say is throughout the day when you are touching up lipstick, either use a lip brush or use your finger. A lot of people go straight from the bullet again and that tends to drag the product, hence why we start to get those uneven lips. So I yeah. tend to either take my finger and just press it over or wow. my best advice is to take a lip brush. Yeah. Oh my God, I, I never do that. I always just use the bullet. Yeah. And now I'm thinking... <laughs> yeah so I think kind of if you are someone if you want it to look perfect I mean if you are someone that's on, on the go and you're rushing around by all means you can use the bullet that's what they're there for what yeah. I tend to find if you are kind of wanting that really good even tone on the lips take that put it onto the lip um, and that will just kind of give you that extra bit of color and that durability but without kind of that build up of the product yeah, I know that makes complete sense. Yeah. Do, do you have any tips then for, I know you said this lipstick lasts 16 hours, but is there anything anyone can oh, do on top of that? that 16 hours, yeah. But yeah. is there anything you can use on top of that? Just do on top of that to make your lipstick last. I guess, like you said, lip liner is something that might help. Yeah, lip liner underneath is something that's definitely going to help. Um, I mean, you can use something like the Mineral Veil, but that would give you a slightly more matte finish to the lip. So you can dust a tiny bit of that over. Um, but yeah. that's a really good tip. And that's why I included it in our product. Okay. Because say if you want a lipstick that you can have for versatility, um, yeah. you want something that, you know, has that slightly more glossier look like we've got now, but you do want maybe a more matte colour, any translucent powder, and this is completely translucent, it has no colour when you take it onto the skin, that will give you a nice matte lip. So should we try it? Yeah, definitely. And I'm using the fluffier end. By the oh, way, I love this lip brush. It's amazing. So any of you who are thinking I don't have a lip brush, that's a really great tip. I'd love to get one. Um, it's actually my favorite lip brush that I've ever used. It's wow. double-ended. So you get, you get this great kind of end, which you can get all your precision with. Yeah. But then you've got that nice fluffier end. So they're great for gloss and for lipstick. So we're just using a tiny bit of that mineral bed. Yeah. And you just apply that directly on top. Yeah. Okay. You can barely feel it as well, which is a great thing. Yeah. And it will just make that colour really matte. So you can probably see that we've gone from having that really glossy lip yeah having a really nice matte lip it's almost like velvet now isn't it yeah but it still feels comfortable because i guess as someone with dry lips sometimes a matte scares me because i'm like oh I'm my exactly god the same yeah i never wear a matte because 
I, I do have dry lips, you know, I do tend to get kind of that texture on my lips. And this is great for that because it smooths them. Um, yeah. But honestly, with the mineral veil, because it doesn't have talcum, it's just cornstarch, it's really lightweight. Um, it really is just going to take down that moisture, but without kind of giving us that really flat finish. But you can see it's just given us a nice matte finish. Yeah, what, what would you say, Hayley? Do you think, because I know we obviously had that question about um, asking for more mature women. Would this be a good way for mature women to perhaps wear a matte lipstick if they didn't want something that accentuated fine lines or anything like that? I think it's a great, great tip, yeah. So if you are kind of someone, as you said, you are more mature, but you do fancy a matte, but you find the mattes can look sometimes quite chalky on the lips, quite yeah. dry, great tip. And you've got the best of both worlds. Um, some people just like to take that kind of lipstick again and apply it just into that centre, just so you're getting that tiny bit or shine in the center point and that will always make the lips look fuller as well amazing i'm gonna do that as well so it's just gonna to start to give us that slightly fuller lip i also take the mineral veil on the face oh and gosh. i think that, that's a really good point that i talk to when we're wearing lipsticks um i always really think about kind of your complexion Yes. Because if you don't have a nice flawless complexion and you're going in for that bold colour, um, you know, you won't necessarily get that kind of wow factor that you're looking for. So I'm just taking that and smoothing that onto the face just to get a nice kind of flawless complexion as well at the same time. And I guess, you know, this is a very iconic product. So maybe if anyone doesn't know about it, what's special about it, Hayley? Yeah, I mean, this... This mineral veil has been around for years. Um, it Honestly, when I say our PR team gets so many calls about this product and emails, because every makeup artist wants it. But what's so special, it's packed full of minerals, so it's good for the skin. Um, it minimizes the shine, kind of makes the pores on the skin almost like an airbrush, so you get like a real flawless like photo finish. Yeah. Um, but with this one, it absorbs the excess oil, but without looking heavy, without looking flat. So yeah. it works for all skin tones, all ages. And some people look at it and think, oh, it's really white. Is that going to work for me? But it's completely translucent. Yeah. And you can probably see it's just taking that shine off. Mm -hmm. And if you feel your skin, if you actually touch it, your it just feels very soft. soft. It so really soft. is gorgeous. Yeah. I think the thing for me is I'm someone who I love glowy skin. So yeah. powders, I'm like, no, 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 no. Yeah. But from me. with this, it allows you to keep the kind of like healthy dewiness of your skin, yeah. but just softens it slightly, which I like. Yeah, and I'm the same. I like a real glow to my skin too, almost so much that sometimes I look like a disco ball. But if you move your face, you can probably still see you've still got that gorgeous glow. Yeah. Exactly. And your highlighter is still that beautiful highlight that you already had on at the beginning. Yeah, cream. It take That's that the thing. Away. Most of my products are cream, but yeah. this I feel like ties in with it all so well. Um, I, I saw someone ask what brush I was using. I'm using this seamless mm -hmm. shaping shape brush. Yeah, I love this and brush. I, I love well. this brush because it's shaped like a flower tip. So it's almost like a dome. So actually it's really, really gorgeous. And if you don't want a really kind of heavy finish, you can roll with products. I use it for blusher if someone likes a really soft amount of blush. Um, but it's great to contour with as a bronzer as well. Yeah, no, it's really, really, really beautiful. Yeah. And I was I going to say, someone asked actually, said, is this lipstick like um, a lipstick and um, nourishing ingredients in one? And that's exactly what it is, isn't it? It is, yeah. I mean, it's packed full of amazing oils for the lips. So you've got pomegranate oil in there. You've got two lots of olive oil. So we really go kind of with the olive oil and jojoba. So it's really condi conditioning, really hydrating. Um, and you'll feel as it goes on, it's so smoothing. So that's one of our best kind of properties with it is really the hydro smoothing properties to the lips. Um, so if you are someone that is looking for that lip treatment, yes, it's perfect. It that's really is. It's like a lip treatment and a lipstick in one. Yeah. I also saw another question, which is inspired my trail of thought now. Of so course. someone said, what, what colour lipstick was blush? But it made me think, maybe we should talk about, if you're wearing a bold lip, what should everyone do with the rest of their I lip? I was just about to mention that, weirdly. Really. <laughs> so it's like, <laughs> whoever that was, they were planted there and read my mind. <laughs> um, so I got us to include um, a product called Warmth. Um, so we actually talked about kind of um, what colours should be perfect when we're wearing a bold lip. And 
I actually say, if you're going to do anything, go for a bronzer as opposed to a really lot of blusher because sometimes you can end up feeling almost like a clown. Mm -hmm. And if you're not used to wearing a bold lip, and you suddenly introduce it and you've gone for your normal pink or peach on, on the cheek, sometimes you feel there's too much colour everywhere. Yeah. So I've just taken a little bit of that warmth into the lid and we're using that same brush, so I'm just taking it onto that, tapping off the excess, and I'm just going to use it in an E shape and a three. So round by the hairline, into the cheekbone a little bit to give a natural contour and underneath the jaw. And it will just start to give you that healthy colour. And if you want to then add more onto the cheeks, onto the apples of the cheeks, higher up, you can do that too. So it's really your choice where you take this product. But I love to almost shape the face. So hairline, just into the cheekbone, and then underneath the jaw. And if yeah, you want right. to take it onto the cheeks, by all means do. And then I always take a tiny bit, just across my centre panel there, and then forehead and the chin. And I think that's a really good way to talk about um, bronzer. What I also did, I don't know if any of you can see, I've used exactly the same bronzer on the eyelid. That's beautiful. And I think that's a great way to wear colour. If you're thinking about kind of my lips, I always tend to say, unless you're going for an actual look, which is a bit more avant-garde, yeah. um, keep neutral on the eyes. Keep a nice neutral palette. So you could go creams, you could go kind of um, greys, you could go browns, bronzes, desert kind of tones, totes, um, but keep it neutral. Um, and I love this bronzer onto the eye. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this across the eyelid and it's kind of giving me that slightly more 40s look, you know, where you've gone for a little bit of colour and then lots of mascara. So yeah. I always tend to say if you want to still wear a shadow but you want to keep it natural think about kind of bronzer on the eyelids and that's a great tip that I have too and it will start to bring your colors all together um, yeah. but say you've done that and then you're like well actually I still feel that I want a little bit more color whatever lipstick you had with your ring finger I was gonna ask if you not a lot yeah and I always say just kind of gently take that color warm it onto the apple of the cheek and it will start to bring your complexion all in one. And I always do this, if I'm doing a, um, a shoot or a model's makeup bridal, and I just want that little flush of color, I think it's a great way just to introduce the right tone that matches perfectly with the lips. Yeah, pretty. Gorgeous. That's the thing, I, I love the fact that all your tips are like multitasking as well, because Because you know, there's a hundred products in their makeup bag as well. Like, let's be honest, I have, thousands of products at home you know with me but when I'm out and about or you know if I'm touching up on the go when we do go out and about on the go when I go to the park at the moment and <laughs> yes my makeup when we get um you know you don't necessarily have 101 products to do all different things so it's really nice I'm I'm a true multitasker when it comes to makeup products um and I think the normal woman wants that we all want to know more ways to use a product than just kind of what it's made for. Um, but I think that just gives that nice, healthy flush of colour. Yeah, no, it's really it's beautiful. Just like you it said, is. it's just tied it all in because it's it's all matching then, isn't it? Yeah. All matchy-matchy, which is perfect. I just saw that Liz commented actually, said it, this is making her want to buy all of the Bay Minerals products with 25% off. That's what we're going to get everyone doing now. Everyone's yeah. trying to pick the shades. That is an That's... insane discount as well. What a yeah. discount to be offering. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you should definitely. I mean, I could have chosen 50 Ben Minerals products to bring to this live today. 25 of them would have been the new lipsticks. <laughs> um, but honestly, you know, we have so many beautiful products. If you haven't tried them, you know, fall in love with our complexion. But... As you can see, at, with colour as well, we are offering kind of that colour that people want, but also good for the skin. And that's kind of the, the kind of message with all of our products. So yeah. if you haven't tried them, Liz, go and try them. Um, I yourself. guess one thing as well, Haley, I wanted to ask, like, how many shades are there in the new Mineralist collection? There's 25. 25, so that's a yeah. lot. So a good range. Kind of, 
we've got your reds, we've got your, um, you know, your deep kind of plummy tones, we've got your dark browns and earthy shades, we've got your berries, your oranges. Um, so we have colours for everybody, your yeah. pinks. Um, and as I said, they were inspired by the gemstones, crystals and gems. Um, so you do have a whole array of colours, which is really nice. Yeah, no, definitely. I've just seen someone ask, can we link everything? Yeah, after this live, as soon as it's finished, I will link all the products um, so you can see everything that we've been using. Yeah. Uh, I think one thing we should definitely do now is like open up if anyone's got questions for Hayley, because you're a fountain of knowledge, Hayley. Like all the time ah, given you. already is hey. amazing. Uh -huh. um, so definitely if anyone's got any questions, I think now is, is the opportunity, isn't it? Definitely. Um, one thing I was going to do is just show this other lipstick that I've got, Charisma, because yeah. I think this is beautiful. Oh, um, so pretty, so pretty. I actually had to wear that at the weekend on QVC, so it was one of our colours. And, and that's when I said I fell in love recently with the pink. Like, um, and I wouldn't ever, ever go for that myself. I wouldn't pick it up and be like, oh, that's for me, that's my lipstick. Yeah. But when I put it on, and it was live on TV, I thought, I love it actually, I really do genuinely love it. And um, and it's a beautiful colour. So I'm also gonna show a couple of others that I've kind of brought to the live so people can see them. But you can probably, I've shown you this one. You can probably see as they go on, they just glide. And that's yeah. what I love about them. You know, you don't have to work for ages to get that colour payoff, they're just there. Yeah. They just glide on. So smooth and creamy. And I know we're talking about bold, but I just want to show this nude colour because you know when everyone talks about finding the like ideal nude lipstick? This is great and this is now my lipstick that I never want to be without. Yeah. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Um, and it's a mauve, that one. That's a mauvey nude. And that's what like, really suits anybody. But I don't usually go for them, um, usually. So when I got this one, I thought, oh, I don't know. And then as soon as I put it on, it just kind of just, it was you quite... Have a fresh look, don't you? Yeah. I, I can't call it kind of like a background nude, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like, it doesn't, like, scream at you, but it just looks really good on. I yeah. don't know how to explain it. <laughs> and um, I actually think that you'll love this one. Um, it's called Abundance. But nice. it's, it's a nice kind of peachy kind yeah. of... It's not a nude, it's more of a natural, um, yeah, but it's that real that. peachy colour and I think that would look beautiful on you. So I, love... I think you should treat yourself to abundance, that's it. Oh, that's this is the thing now, isn't it? <laughs> lip lip colours, I find, are one of those products that you don't need an excuse to treat yourself to because you'll always find a time to wear it. And... You know it? Yeah, sorry, no, carry on. Oh, no, I, that, I just feel like it's one of those things you can just treat yourself to because as soon as you put on an, a nice colour lipstick, it just makes you feel amazing. That's how I feel anyway. Yeah. And even this one, I, I mean, that's gorgeous. It's like that real bricky dark red. I love it. Um, but yeah, weirdly, you're talking about lipstick. I have been doing a lot of quizzes, online quizzes at the minute with my friends and family. <laughs> and I actually um, had to do a quiz. So I thought, well, let me research a few things. And loving makeup, I was like, I'll do a couple of makeup facts as well. Yeah. But the most purchased product worldwide is lipstick. Makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. And I said to my friends, imagine you always think about kind of your, gra your grandma and that growing up, you know, even if she didn't wear any other makeup, if she was going to the bingo, she'd put on her lipstick, you know? And it's one of those things that we do tend to buy when we're feeling emotional as well. I don't know about you, but if I'm yeah. going to break up with someone or I'm on a first date, I'll put it on to show I'm strong and powerful, you know, yeah. a nice bold lip. If I've had a bad day, I'll treat myself to a new lipstick and instantly I feel better. So I think it's one of those emotional products too that instantly is that pick-me-up. Yeah, That's definitely. Cool. It's like I said, you know, if I'm on holidays, I'll take, well, when we can go on holidays, but... I will take, not much makeup with me, but I will take, honestly, Hayley, 10 lipsticks. I'm the same. I, I can't control myself. Yeah. Because I take about three different kinds of reds, purples, because yeah. I feel like and I'm only on holidays, days you kind of sometimes. let yourself go and just experiment more with colour. Um, yeah. So I, that, that's the thing for me. That's why I'll always treat myself to a lipstick. There'll always be a time where I can wear one. Yeah, you look yeah. great in a, in a lipstick as well. It's I definitely just, your look. Minimalize and nice lip on you. Yeah, definitely suits you. 
I saw um, another question. So if anyone's got any questions, feel free to keep popping them in. I, I know that the time's just flying, isn't it, Hayley? Um, someone's asked for best primer for oily skin. Yeah, so if you want a bare minerals primer for oily skin, um, I recommend the Combo Control. So that's exactly what it's called. It's called a Combo Control Face Primer. Um, what it is, it's kind of, it's got a gorgeous texture. So it feels almost like, it feels like a lotion as it goes on. So it's that skincare benefit again. Um, but it sets almost like a velvety texture. So once you put it on, it feels quite kind of milky. And then once it sets onto the skin, you get that gorgeous velvet finish. And if you think anyone who's oily, that velvet will give you that smoothness that you want because sometimes you're prone to larger pores. Um, sometimes you have a few lumps and bumps from congestion or maybe you've got the blemishes that go with the oil. Um, so it's really going to smooth the skin, give you that velvet texture, but it absorbs oil. So that's one of the best things. Um, packed full of loads of good few ingredients, but you've got kind of tea tree and things like that in there. So Amazing. Really from the skin. Yeah. Oh, this, we just had a very, very good question, actually, and one that I definitely want to know the answer to. Um, so it's for you, Hayley. What three products would you recommend to someone who's new to beer minerals? Oh, this is so easy for me to recommend. <laughs> um, so the first one that I really recommend is, um, it's actually part of the, if you're watching at the beginning, we did an eye cream called Skin Longevity, but it would actually be the serum from the Skin, skin Longevity range. Um, our hero skincare product, but I honestly think every woman needs it. It brightens the skin, it balances the skin, it works on the texture, it really hydrates. Um, and it's one of those products, and one of my, my best friends, whenever she's running low, she panics and phones me. Um, but it is one of those things, if you read about it, women go crazy for it. And I think that's yes. a must-have from their minerals. Um, the second one that I think is a total must-have is our original foundation. So it's our hero product. It's a loose it's formula. Fast. Yeah, um, loose formula. It's kind of buffs onto the skin. And we don't say a powder, it's a loose mineral, it buffs onto the skin, but it works with your natural oil to kind of go like a creamy texture. Yes. Um, it's honestly beautiful and a real versatile coverage. So it's a that's, unique thing, isn't it? Uh, there's no anything like, like it. it. There's nothing else like it in the industry. And because of, you know, the job that I'm in and I want to try competitors, I'll try other mineral brands. Nothing compares to the original. It Honestly, like, just the silkiest texture. So if you haven't yet tried our original foundation, that's a must-have, definitely. Um, and then the third one, because I'm so in love, it has to be these lipsticks at the oh, moment. Well, that, to be honest, yeah. I, I've tried... It's that I, summer product. Yeah. I've tried quite a few things, I'd say, from Bay Minerals. And I think these are definitely... I'd say the foundation and mineral veil, I absolutely love. But the lipsticks, I think if you've got dry lips then these will change how you wear lipsticks and how you enjoy lipsticks, I think. Yeah. Um, and because, if you're someone yeah, that normally really likes that colour from a lipstick, but you find that they tend to be quite matte, a lot of the bold lipsticks that yeah. get real good, intense colour, because these are real, real colour true pigment. Yeah. Um, and sometimes the shiny ones are a bit sheer, but actually these go on, and I remember you saying that earlier on your live, that they were so pigmented, and that's the olive oil that does that, gives you those yeah. great kind of colours. Um, but I think it's a really great way to kind of wear lipstick and enjoy it. I think I've just seen someone say Complexion Rescue is lovely. And I think that oh. might be one of the first products I ever tried from Bare Minerals. Yeah. I love that. Um, I've not met anybody yet that's ever tried Complexion Rescue and not fallen in love. Um, and weirdly, whenever I do models makeup, they always ask me, what is that product that you've just used? And they always purchase it, always. They do it there and then on their mobile phone as they're having yeah. a makeup done. They're like, what colour was I? And they always get it. And I think if you are, again, we're talking hydration, but if you are someone you do want floods of hydration into your skin, Complexion Rescue, either in the gel or the stick, is a really great way to introduce that. I'm a huge Complexion Rescue fan. So when I'm not wearing my original day-to-day -day for work, when I want to look flawless nights out, if it is that kind of day off makeup that I go for, that's when I'll introduce Complexion Rescue. And it gives you that dewiness. You said you love dewiness yes. already. So yeah, I'm not surprised that you love that product. That's why I think I like it is because it's got that perfect, if you're going for something like a, a tinted moisturizer, you almost want it 
to be good for your skin. You want something that's lighter. That's why you're going down that route, I think. So yeah. the fact that it is, the ingredients are good, um, really like speaks to me. Someone said it's my holiday favorite. And like, exactly that, it's kind of that. It's lighter, but it still gives good coverage as well. It does indeed, yeah, it really does. I, I love it, honestly. I just feel, when you're wearing it, your skin feels hydrated, most importantly, instantly when you put it on. It's like a drink of water for your skin. Um, but they've got a great SPF. So you've got the SPF 30 there in the gel. Um, really great because it's a mineral SPF too. Definitely. Really good protection. Yeah, definitely. So I know I want to go back to lipsticks just really quickly because I know we've shared a couple. So we've shared like a fuchsia, we shared a red, we yeah. shared a nude, I shared grace. Are there any other colours you think people should really go and check out, Hayley? Because there's so many. Oh, I mean, there's so many that I'm falling in love with. There's one called um, Perception. That's a really good one. Um, I think this one, Awareness, that real bricky tone. Um, if you are someone, and if you can see, it's got enough of the red in the berry in it. Um, if you are someone that maybe you're more into the earthy colours, you wear a lot of the kind of the natural kind of tones, but you're wanting to try something a little bit more bold and maybe more sophisticated, yeah. I think this is a really good one to try. Um, but honestly, I'm falling in love with them all day to day. So I got sent all 25 for this. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Um, but honestly, I'm, just, I'm falling in love with a different colour all the time. I, there's a colour called Focus as well, which is a good mood. Um, that's a really good mood to try. Um, and energy, um, which was this one, the orangey one. I think wow, I think if you're I someone who love loves an orangey one. red, I'm going to show you here so that you guys can see. Wow. If you love an orangey red, that's a really great colour too. Amazing. Well, I, I think earlier on, um, we had a question. Sorry, we've had so many questions. If we have missed your question, let us know now yes. um, about a lip colour for darker skin tones. And I think you just shared that, like, on these bricky ones. Do you think that would be a really good one for darker skin tones? Really nice natural colour for darker skin tones. We have um, got some really deep ones as well yeah. in the range too. Um, so, you know, if you do want to go onto Essential website and have a little look at the colours, they'll be there. But you know, I think the deep ones are great. Um, if you want me to kind of recommend a couple at the end, I will. I'm still getting familiar with the names, so I can't remember them all. Oh my um, gosh, I'll recommend yeah. a couple. Well, there is 25. Yeah. yeah, it would be good if you give us a tiny bit, bit more info and let us know. Is it more of a bold colour that you want to wear? Um, or is it kind of more of a bright kind of statement colour? So if it's bold with depth, or whether it's more of that brighter colour, I'll be able to recommend a colour a little bit better. Because what I still, what I love, Hayley, is pinks that aren't too pink. So is there a, is there a shade in the, a shade in the range? A range? A, yeah, a shade in the range. That there's is one, that kind of. There's one called Confidence, um, which is like, it's like a, a it's, I don't want to say a bubblegum pink because it isn't quite a bubblegum, but it's not a rose. It's somewhere in between the two. But yeah. it is that gorgeous kind of, it's a statement, you can see it, but it's not too bright and in your face. So if you are someone that is just coming and trying bolder colours, I think confidence, and it does give you that little bit of confidence, weirdly, is a really good colour to try. There's also another pink called Romance that is really pretty. Okay. And that's more of that kind of rosebud kind of, kind of lip, yeah. that pink colour. Because I think um, people get scared of pink sometimes, don't they? They're being too girly. But if you can find the right pink, I think it's it's feminine, but still sophisticated at the same time. Yeah. Isn't it? And I think you've got charisma on your hand, haven't you? But that's yeah. for someone who's wanting that more raspberry kind of pink. Um, but if you think confidence is not quite that, so it's just slightly more pulled back. Um, it's kind of that meets a nice natural rose, somewhere in the middle. Yeah, and I think one thing I was doing over the weekend is I was often applying them full on, but if I just wanted a little bit of, like, paired back colour, I was just dabbing them on with my fingers. And that's um, what I love about kind of a moisturising lipstick. You can have that almost stained look with it, where yeah. it's very sheer, and just as you were doing, just dabbing it on slightly with the fingers. Um, and I've done that look quite a lot recently, um, and it was quite popular for brides last summer as well, just to have that slight just dab of colour as opposed Blush to a solid lip line. Yeah, that's a nice way to describe yeah. it. Almost that diffused colour on the lips. 
Definitely. Um, Lola's just asked, have you got romance there to swatch? Um, I've got it on the side. I'm going to run, run away and grab it. Yeah, I grab it. Grab with you? Yeah, definitely. I think we've got about five minutes left. So if anyone has got any questions or wants to see any swatches, then feel free to ask. I think we had a lot of questions earlier. They come in thick and fast. So um, we don't want to miss anyone's questions out. But I'm, I'm loving this lipstick. You know when you're just going to feel like you're going to wear a lipstick forever? This is one of those, I think. This is when I wish that I had a lot more hands. Oh my god! <laughs> so many lipsticks. That's my a hands. lipstick collection of dreams. Hence why I didn't bring them all over earlier. Oh my god, um, wow. But I'm going to find it for you. So there's quite a few. I'm like, Which oh yeah, this one, one that I forgot to mention, this one that I forgot to mention. Oh my god. Um, so let me Which find it for you. the most? Pardon me? Which one have you been wearing the most? Um, I actually think there's a colour called um, Focus that I've been wearing quite a lot. This one that I'm loving. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful new that. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So that's, that's been a really yeah, nice one that I've been enjoying. Um, and I've actually been using, uh, wearing this one that I recommended for you, Intuition. Yeah, I love that. I love like a yeah. coral kind of peach. Yeah. And romance a little bit as well, actually, weirdly. Um, I'm just trying to find it. Isn't it difficult? It'll be the last one that I pick up. Definitely. It's always that case. I can see Jade. Hi, Jade. Jade has been like tuning into a lot of our lives. Uh, and I know you're a big lipstick fan, Jade. <laughs> so you're going to love this. You can watch it back on stories and Instagram TV if you've missed any. I actually think it's in my makeup bag. How many minutes? Oh, no. <laughs> Let me grab it. No, I won't. Okay. Have it. <laughs> Yeah, we will get it for you. you know it sounds it. amazing. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, so let me know, everyone, what shade are you thinking would be your purchase if you were going to get one? I think next to me is definitely that peachy shade because I yeah, love... I'm trying to match it to my nail colour. Oh, amazing. I mean, you know I'm not lying when I say I've been wearing it quite a lot when it's in my makeup bag. Yeah, definitely. Um, I've just seen Tarzi. Yeah, definitely we will save this. There we go. So it's, it's like beautiful. that perfect, yeah, that perfect natural pink. Um, and then should I just show you confidence that I was talking about as well? Yeah, definitely. I love the sound of that one. I have a table full of 25 lipsticks. Oh, God. And I'm trying to find all my favourite ones. But that's a really good colour. Can you see? Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, so it's kind of introducing people to pinks, to that slightly more boldish kind of colour of a lip, um, but without being so garish that you'd find it too strong. Yeah. yeah, or overpowering. Yeah, no, definitely. The the colour selection and the colour lineup is, is beautiful. And I think more... And look how dark oh. we go as well. Oh my God, wow. Yeah, onto those real kind of berry tones. So I love that though. Yeah. I'd love to wear something like that with like um, a, a, an eyeliner flick or something. Yeah. I think it'd look amazing. Yeah, kind of that goth glam. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Someone's just joined and said, what colour are we wearing? So I am wearing Courage. And Hayley, you're wearing... I'm wearing... Um... Uh, I'm trying to remember which one I did you did wear. It was you the more the uh, red inspiration. inspiration. Inspiration, yeah, definitely. I wanted to say no, I'm wearing courage, but no, you're wearing courage. We've wearing honestly courage. talked about so many lip colours. Yeah, um, and I think I changed. It, so I was trying different ones before this, and I was falling in love with so many different colours. I nearly did do swatches of them all up my arm, and I thought, as I'm doing makeup, they're going to go everywhere. Oh my so god, that's the one stick thing. Stick to my hands. Yeah. Definitely. Um, so I've just had a notification up saying we, we have got about a minute left. Yeah. Um, so I just wanted to say thank you so much for joining us and coming oh, on. Thank you for having me. It's been so fun. I feel like we've learned so much, had so many tips. Um, nice little tips about kind of how to wear makeup and go with bright lipstick. Yeah, so I think my thing is just to challenge everyone just tomorrow, choose a bright lipstick from your collection and wear it. And if you want to share it with Essential, tag Haley and Bare Minerals as well, because I'd love to see everyone just stepping outside their comfort zone a little bit. Um, 
yeah, it'd be really good to see, wouldn't it? Yeah, and if you did have a question and we didn't answer it, or you did want a recommendation of colour, drop yeah. it in the DMs and we can communicate yeah. and I'll make sure that you get an answer. Definitely. So after this, I'm going to pop it on um, on stories, everyone, all the products that we've spoken about. Um, and you can go and scroll through all of the shades and find your perfect one. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Thank Brilliant. you so much, Hayley. Thank you for having me. And take care, everybody. Bye. Have a nice evening. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.